All right, first and foremost, what is Odyssey? Odyssey is a plugin in the MPC. What does Odyssey sound like? YouTube. It's your boy, I'm here, the producer. We're back with a new video. This time we're going to be talking about Odyssey, which is going to be my favorite plugin that comes inside of the MPC. I'm going to talk to you about how I tweak it, how I go about kind of customizing my own sounds, and what you need to do to be able to create a user library so that you can customize your own sounds and be able to save them inside of your MPC. Stay tuned and we're going to touch base over all this stuff. Okay, so this video is going to apply for the MPC X Live in One. It doesn't matter as long as you have the newer software and you have the Odyssey plugin inside of here. So what we're going to be doing is actually coming up here to where the sounds are going to be at under Bouncing Ball uh, to the left here. If you take a look, we have Default and then you have all of these here, right? Uh, and if you take a look down here, you see one called User. And if you go to your MPC right now, more than likely you don't have a user folder, right? So I do, and when you click in user, you're gonna be able to see a default patch that I saved in here as a user because I was tweaking the default and I didn't realize I saved it. And then you have one called the synth piano, right? So this is something that I created and I was actually able to save out to my MPC. How was I able to do this? Stay tuned, watch the next clip. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to be able to have your own folder in the Odyssey plugin so that you can customize and save out your own presets. Okay, first things first, let's go ahead and hit browse on your MPC. And what you're going to want to be doing is actually going to the internal storage of the MPC. Once you're in the internal, go to where it says MPC documents. Go down to where it says plugin presets. Under instruments, you should have a folder called Way Out Where MPC Odyssey. I basically created a new folder in here called Custom. And inside that custom folder is where I saved that synth piano and that default patch. Once you do that, you're going to be able to go into your Odyssey plugin program, and you should have a folder at the bottom called user. Anything inside of that custom folder will appear here. Default synth piano. So that's how you're going to be able to tweak some sounds inside of Odyssey and be able to save them inside of your MPC. Since these are already built into the MPC, don't worry about it being saved to the internal because these literally are taking no memory whatsoever to be able to design these patches because it's all pretty much built in initially to your MPC. Okay, so next step. You came in Odyssey, you tweaked it, you made an amazing patch, now what? All you simply gotta do is come over here and hit the little save icon. It's gonna ask you where you would like to save it, right? Well, as of right now, I have the custom folder created here, right? So this is where you're gonna be able to create your new folder in this area. Where is this area at? Once again, it's gonna be in the NPC area, right? So I'm gonna show you in that browse section here, right? If we go one folder up, custom folder. Where's the custom folder? Inside of the NPC Odyssey folder, right? So it's just very that simple. That's where you're gonna save things at. That's where you're gonna load things from. And once you have that done, you should be able to pull up all of your patches, no problem, uh, under the user folder. And now you are officially cranking out your own patches and you have your own ARC Odyssey built into your MPC. Please go ahead and watch some YouTube videos. It's pretty in depth and amazing what you can do. This is actually a real exact replica of an Odyssey built into our MPCs, which basically means you don't need to run out and buy a synthesizer. You can really just sit here and create some crazy sounds just like I do out of that bad boy there. Bad boy right here. You can basically just sit on your MPC and do the same thing and have your own Odyssey. Korg released one, Behringer released one. One's been out for about 30 plus years, so there's thousands of videos out there about how to tweak a sound. 
inside of this unit. Just follow along on your software version. This is your boy and data producer. This was a quick tutorial upon how to create your own patches inside of Odyssey and save them. Peace out.